If God exists, why is there evil? There's actually many reasons, but I'll give you three. Reason number one. If I was to tell you there is a white dot somewhere on this white piece of paper, you wouldn't be able to tell me where it is. If I was to put a black dot in the middle of the paper, you would instantly be able to tell me where it is. In the exact same way, to understand what is good, we need to have bad. In other words, how can we be generous if there is no one to be generous to? How can we be kind if there is no one to be kind to? Bad allows us to appreciate good. In the exact same way, if we were to see people tested with poverty, with illness, with mental health, whatever it is, it allows us to truly appreciate the blessings that we do have. Reason number two, imagine a kid that's on his way to get vaccinated. All that kid sees coming his way is pain, but the parents know full well that this kid is limited in his understanding, and that small pain is part of a greater good. Similarly, what we perceive to be evil can also be part of a greater good. For example, imagine missing a flight because of COVID, but finding out the next day that that plane crashed. Remember, we have a pixel. Allah, our creator, has the picture. Reason number three. As Muslims, we do not live for this life. We live for the next. This life is only just a test, filled with good and filled with bad to see who will stick with Allah or who will turn away from Allah. Our purpose is to meet Allah after we die with the least amount of sins as possible. Which is why the Prophet Muhammad said that even a prick of a thorn, a prick of a thorn removes bad deeds from our account. Which means that any pain we go through in this life, whether it's mental, physical, spiritual, whatever it is, deletes bad deeds from our account, therefore helping us in the afterlife where is the true and final abode. This is the mercy of Allah. And finally, I want to remind you of the promise that Allah makes to all of us in the Quran. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها That Allah will never ever burden you with anything you cannot handle. Allah is promising you that he will never push you past your breaking point. So whatever bad you're going through in your life, stay strong, be patient, and success will be yours in the afterlife, inshallah.